Welcome back. Only on to a devastating diagnosis proves to have no limitations for a Bixby teenager. Instead, she's using her fighting spirit to empower others. Ella Morrow's life changed when she was a toddler diagnosed with a rare disease of the nervous system. As reporter Corey Duke shows us, Ella stepped out in front of hundreds of people to show them how truly strong she is. It's a big day at One Oak Field. A special guest set to make an appearance on the pitcher's mound. But as Ella Morrow waits for her moment to shine, we reflect on all the days beforehand, much bigger than this. Where's it go, Ella? Ella Morrow, now a sophomore at Bixby High School. Can you tell me what color? What color is it? Her story is powerful and began when she was just four years old. Ella was starting to have some random complaints of symptoms. My stomach hurts, my head hurts. Tia Mara watched as her spunky, fun-loving little girl. She was a typical little girly. She liked fluffy dresses and high heels. Quickly began to decline, eventually becoming so lethargic she couldn't even lift her head. As it turned out, over the next course of the week, she drifted off into a coma. Um, and they decided she had what they called acute disseminating encephalomyelitis. A rare infectious brain response caused by what doctors believe was a mosquito bite. I was terrified. I really thought I was going to lose my little girl. A diagnosis that would change Ella's life forever. It's just one of those moments you literally end up in the floor on your knees crying and begging to keep your kiddo here. In a time of despair, the Morrows found hope at the Children's Center Rehabilitation Hospital in Bethany, Oklahoma. After months of what felt like torture, things began looking up. Ella's spirit came back. Years later, her sass is abundant and her heart is pure, which is why tonight she's the one calling the shots. We're all reminded that there's nothing we can't do and the pitcher's mound is waiting. Corey Duke, two works for you.